us to the seventh episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel of course the playlist that contains the solutions to all the 12 questions. And we've done also paper 1. Just check for the playlist, you'll see the solutions to all the 23 questions. And we've also got different playlists from different subjects and different topics that are arranged according to the topic and the paper. So if you're struggling with a particular subject or a topic, this is the best place for you to cement the concept that you need for you to ace your exams. So let us move straight to question 7M. It leads, the diagram shows the positions of three towns, P, Q, and R. R Q is equal to 7.1 kilometers, P R is equal to 23.8 kilometers, and angle R P Q equals 92.7 degrees. Question A, Loma numero 1. We start with calculate the distance R Q to two decimal places. Then Loma numero 2 of M, area of the triangle PQR, then Loma numero 3, shortest distance of P from RQ giving your answer to two decimal places. B solve the equation 3 tiny theta equals 89 for theta is greater or equal to 0 degrees, but less or equal to 180 degrees. Then simplify 9x squared minus 1 over 9x plus 3. So these are the questions. So if you look at Loma numero 1, where we are required to calculate the distance RQ. So we are given this triangle. So the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is what have we been given? So we've been given two sides. So we've been given R, which is a side opposite angle, R. So then we've been given also Q, which is the side opposite angle Q, which is this side. Then we've also been given angle P. So angle P is subtended by two sides that we've been given. So if you are such a situation, we use cosine loom. So in this case, we have this P. To find this P which is missing, which we are required, which is RQ. So side P square equals, we square the sides that are subtending this angle that we're given. So we're going to have R square plus in Q square, then minus 2 multiplied by the two sides subtending this angle, which is RQ. Then we'll by cos the angle which has been subtended by these two sides, which is P. That's what we do. But let us say, for example, if we're given this angle, and the angle we're given this angle is not given to us. So in this case, we can just use the sine loom, which is the sine of an angle divided by the corresponding side is equal to sine of that another angle divided by the corresponding side. So in this case, if that was the case, we are given this angle, we are going to say sine theta divided by the corresponding angle is this side is, is R. So R then equals sine. Then we needed to know this angle also so that we can sign that. So it was going to be sine now 92.7 divided by P. So now R is given to us. Then this is given to us and this is given to us. Let us say, for example, if we knew that one, then we could easily find the P. So that's what you need to think about. So now because what we are given is the angle subtended by two sides and the two sides we use cosine loom. So it's just a matter of now start solving. So let me go to a new page. So this is in A Loma numero 1. So we load P square is equal to R square plus in Q square minus 2 R Q cos angle P. So angle P is the angle we are given which is 92.7. So now we need to substitute R. So what is R? So R is given to us is this one then Q is that one. So it's just a matter of substituting now. So we have 7.1 square, then plus Q, which is 23.8. We square it minus 2 multiplied by 7.1, multiplied by 23.8, then multiplied by cos 92.70 degrees. So once we do that, then you just use the calculator. You notice that if you simplify this part, the first part, this one will give us 6. 
85 to do this and place the minus then we simplify this part this will give us 33 7 which is 137.96 then you come and simplify cos this cos is 92.7 this is negative 0 0.04407 then once we simplify this one we're going to end up with him six three two point seven seven zero zero now this is the p square so we're looking for time so introduce the square root and the square root here so p is equal to twenty five point one five four nine which is now p is equal to to two decimal places is 25.15 so this is the answer kilometers so once you do that you are good to go then the area of the triangle PQR so we need to find the area so now the area of the triangle given two sides subtending the angle given is equal to half multiplied by the multiplication of the two sides subtending the angle so this is the angle being subtended so you see these are sides so now multiply by now sine the angle being subtended so if we are this angle this side we're going to use this one and this one so it was going to be pq if we, we are given this angle and we're given this side so it's supposed to be p and r that's what we, we are going to use so that's the principle that you need to use Having known that, let us go and solve for the area. So this is a loma numero two. So area is equal to half. Then what is r? Remember this is r q sine p. So it's half multiplied by seven point one multiplied by twenty three point eight multiplied by sine ninety two point seven degrees. Then at this point we can use our calculator. When we use our calculator, we discover that the answer will be eighty-four point four kilometers square to three significant figures. Once you do that, you are good to go. Then you can look at Loma numero three, shortest distance of P from RQ, giving your answer to two decimal places. So we're looking for the shortest distance from P to RQ. So you see. If you draw this one, we're looking for this shortest distance. So now, the shortest distance will happen when this angle is 90. So in such a way that this is perpendicular to RQ. So when P is perpendicular to RQ, that's when you have the shortest distance. If it's not perpendicular, then it won't be the shortest distance. So in that case, we have two sides, which is angle A and angle B. So we need to find that. Now, the shortest way to answer that is shortest distance is given by, so I say shortest distance is given by, to multiply by the area that we're just from finding, then divide by this side, given that this is angle, so this line which is perpendicular to the line drawn from the angle where we are coming from. So in this case, it's RQ. So just found the RQ. So we can write it here, which is Roman numeral 3. So it will be shortest distance is equal to 2 times the area, which is 2 area divided by RQ. So remember we just found RQ. So the area is 84. So now this is 84, we multiply by 2. So 2 times 84.4. Then divide by RQ. Then RQ just found it, which is the P. This P is RQ 25.15. So... 25.15 which is in this case when simplify to give us 6.71 kilometers then once you do that you are good to go and you get these two marks now if you forget let us say for example you forget that formula you forget this formula what is the principle behind so that you understand what is happening so the principle behind is in this it is shared we can call it h Okay, which is the shortest distance. Now, to find the area of the triangle, area of any triangle, which is right angled, is equal to, area is equal to half times, so we need to have the length, then the width. 
so this is the length then this is the width which is the height so w is now becomes the height so now we have got two parts so for this part a and b so to find the total area total area it will be now area a plus area b so what is area a so to find area a it will be l one then this is l2 so l2 is in from here to here i can use a black one do this one so from here to here this is perpendicular this is l1 then from here to here this is l2 so to find the area to just be half multiplied by h which is the height times l1 then plus in half multiplied by in l h multiplied by l2 now you notice that these are common these are common so i can factor those out so if i factor all out those out i can write here i'm going to end up with him total area which i'm going to call ta is equal to half times in h multiplied by i factor out that one l1 plus l2 but this one is what we just found which is the shortest the distance opposite this angle that we're given so this is the p and we found that to be 25.15 so this tells me that in the total area so I'll, I'll take this one to a new space or i can lab this side so that i use this space which is here let me lab this space because we've already dealt with this one so what that tells me is a uh, total area now which is area ta is equal to half times h p so this is what we've just found this p because L1 plus L2 is equal to this distance RQ, which is P. Then, to find now the H, which is the shortest distance. Remember, H is the shortest distance. This one, H, is the shortest distance. So, it will just be cross multiplying. So, it will be 2 area, which is TA, or 2 total area. Let me use the same symbol. So, that you, you follow me, 2 total area equals so it's just this one multiplied by this one then one multiplied by that one is hp so looking for hp now hp which is the shortest distance in this case shortest distance is equal to two times area which is the total area divided by p total area so this is the same as in two area divided by r q so that's why we just use the shortcut so if you forget that that's how you remember the formula you can derive it yourself so question b solve the equation 3 tan theta equals 89 where the theta the angle should lie between 0 and 180 so it should lie in the first and the second quadrant so this is a beam so we have 3 tan theta is equal to 89 we need to divide by 3 we divide by 3 then tan theta equals so we're going to have about 2 2 into 29 is 7 remainder 2 like this okay so but you don't need this to simplify it so at this point we just need to come to this angle that i'm going to find so it will be tan inverse of 20 uh, 89 over 3 so when you use this one you're going to find an angle so it's that angle that you need to start with so this angle is 88.1 degrees so this is the angle but now the angle need to lie between 100 and 0 and 180 and we know that from the principle that all students take chemistry all students take chemistry tan is only the positive in the first quadrant and this is where this one lies so because it's only positive in the first quadrant so this tells me that theta is equal to 88.1 degrees so theta is the correct answer and this lies between 180 and up to zero so it's between zero and 180 in other words so if it was two up to 360 we are going to find the other angle in the third quadrant but uh, because it's supposed to lie between 0 and 180 degrees we are only finding one angle so that angle is 88.1 degrees then we move to sim simplify so simplify 9x square 
minus 1 over 9x plus 3. So this is the same as 9x square plus 0x minus 1 over 3 then 3x plus 1 like that. So the next thing that we need to do is deal with the numerator. So if you have 9x square plus 0x minus 1 this as our main products because this is a perfect square. So the product is 9 times negative 1 which is negative 1 then the factors are 3 and negative 1. So the moment this sum here is 0 you're dealing with a perfect square. So now whenever there is 0x we substitute this to substitute this to negative uh, 3 and positive 3. So we're going to have 9x square plus 3x minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And at this point we can factor out, remember what I'm doing, just to get the boundary. So what is common? So the best way to avoid complication, I'm going to rewrite this one. So 9x square, then this comes here, then this one goes this side. So I'm going to have minus 3x plus 3x, I've just arranged, minus 1 is equal to 0. In this way you avoid a lot of mistakes. So I can factor out 3 between these two, and also this one I can factor out 1. So I'm going to end up with 3x, 3x into this one is in a 3x, then minus 3x into this one is a 1, then here what is common is a 1 plus a 1, then 3x minus a 1. You notice that these two are the same, so I can factor out, so I'm going to have 3x minus 1, then multiply by 3x plus 1. So I'm getting what is outside this one and this one because this is what remains. So now this one we are going to replace it within this one. Whenever we have this one we replace that one or we replace this one. Once we do that then we are good to almost conclude this. So now what this one tells me is now 9x square minus 1 over 9x plus 3 is equal to then denominator of already factored out is 3 then 3x plus 1 then here we're just far from factor factorizing the numerator so we'll replace it with this one that we've done by factorization so we're going to have 3x minus 1 then multiply by 3x 1 3x plus 1 like that you notice that this one and this one cancels so we're going to end up with 3x minus 1 over 3 so if you know the principle you just come from here you replace this one here quickly then you factorize because you know that these this is a perfect square so whenever there is 0, you just replace this to quickly, quickly, then you get the answer. You will not waste a lot of time. So once you do this, then you are good to go and you get these two marks. So, so thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in this coming episode where we we'll look at question 8 extensively.